Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Zealtron brand, their digital microscope with a 4.3 inch diagonal LCD screen. It'll magnify from 50x up to 1000x. It'll produce up to 1000p video. It has eight LED lights in the little, in the little chamber right there. They're gonna, it'll help illuminate anything you put on this little platter right there. Now this is what it comes with. There is a 32 gigabyte TF card that I already installed on the unit. We're gonna show you how to do that. That's the first thing you wanna do, and you wanna format that, and we're gonna show you how to do that. Here is the base. Here is the part that holds the main unit and allows you to go up and down. Here's the main unit. Here is a charging USB-A to micro USB, and here is the piece that goes up and down. It's got millimeters and inches on it that goes up and down. What's really unique is that on this unit itself, not only does it have the LED array right there with a brightness control right there. There's your power switch. Here's all your control buttons. On the side here you have your TF card which I have in there already. I came with it and there is your micro USB port to charge it. Right on here there is a focus wheel that's what's going to allow you to zoom in and out to get the final focus. The raw focus is going to be with this platter moving up and down, just like that. Now you can adjust the screen on this, the angle of it. We're going to show that once we assemble this. It's 135 degrees. And it does have a 10 megapixel camera technology and LCD screen really nice and clear and it'll produce JPEG images or record videos in AVI and inside there the LED lights there's eight little LED lights it gets really bright and allows you to really light up whatever you can put on this little pl platter right here first thing I'm going to do to test this is I'm going to take the up and down mechanism and the holding mechanism and here is the bottom plate which is weighted nicely and you see it has some four rubberized silicone feet on there which allows this to stay nice and stable and we're going to slide this in place and you hear that lock right there that locks it right in place just like that now we have this up and down table and let's see how that goes on here and that slides and locks in place also. Let's go over the mechanics of this. There is a thumb screw right here. When that is loose, then this up and down knob allows the table to move up and down for the raw focus, or the rough focus, I like to say. And then if you have, you have it locked in place with whatever you're gonna be observing right there, you can turn this clockwise and that will lock that table in place. Now on the top here you see another uh, set screw and that's what's gonna lock this in place so that you can hold the whole unit up on top right there. Now it goes all the way through just like that because you don't want to be able to cover up the focus wheel on there. Now you turn this to the right and then it locks it in place just like that. Now what's nice is that they have this so that you can set up and do the focus right there. But you can also rotate this so that if you want to have a colleague or somebody viewing this right here, they can do that. So now I'm looking at 90 degrees or whatever angle I want just like that. You can also change the angle of the top display a lot. So that's really nice too. So they have um, a way to have the electronics here go in through this and allow you to move that. So you have a lot of flexibility in the angle of where this display is. So let's start off, I'm going to change the camera angle here. Let's start off by turning this unit on, on the side, we're going to hit the power switch. 
Now we're going to take this plastic piece off that you see, because you want to have it nice and clear. The unit does come with a basic instruction um, booklet also to help you out. But I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So you see the screen comes up, and uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the home button right there, and you want to find this is the up and down buttons and you can see the video resolution right there and right now you could see so that's if you want to play videos if you had videos right there we can view them we move down we can control the resolution right now it's at 1920 by 1080 and you could change it even down to 640 by 480 1280 by 720 and you have a language choice you have brightness control and you got to hit that really fast because if you want to control the brightness that is actually so what that was was the zoom but let's, let's do this again let's go back to the home so if you want to get to the brightness of the actual display you hit OK and then you can move it up and down and you see that little moon symbol right there that's the brightness of the actual display go back to the home button let's go back down here screen rotation okay so you could actually rotate the screen so the first thing you want to do is turn on the power switch which is right on the left right here and I have the included TF card ready installed we're going to format that but right now I have the instruction booklet right on the lens on the platter right there and I could move it around and I could focus it using the focus wheel right there and I could do the rough focus up and down right here just like that you can see it gets really clear and now I'm gonna show you some of the other features of the menu here's the home button and here you have the choice there you could watch a video if we took a video here you have the video resolution you can pick lower right now it's on 1920 by 1080 language you can pick the English or whatever language you want right there you have all those various languages brightness is the display brightness you gotta hit it fast right here and you can actually change the brightness of the screen anytime you have the screen on and you hit these buttons right here you see there's a plus on there and then there's a minus so that allows you to actually zoom in digitally on the subject whatever you have on this platter right there now let's go back to the home menu let's drop back down screen rotation is interesting you hit OK and you see the front it has a little F right there then you could rotate Let's go try to get down to screen rotation and now you can rotate the image and it has a little symbol right there, F is the normal one. So that is handy if you're looking at something you want to rotate the actual image. Let's go back right here. And we have timestamp and you could turn the timestamp on and off if you want. I like it on. Let's move down the menu. You have time setting and here is where you can put the actual time and the date. I have it as May 10, 2022 and that's the time in 24 hour format. Just like that. Set the menu again. And we have formatting. So it's important to format it because uh, you want it to run smoothly. So let's hit the confirm button right there and now it's formatting that, that takes care of that and uh, if we go further down we have the reset system you can reset the whole system if you want if you're having any issues you hit that right there and you have storage it tells you how much you have left right there I had a software version right there the version number is right there and so that's it so you have photo to view and video to view we didn't take anything yet so let's just take a little uh, sample here, what's on your screen right there. You can see how much it's 
amplifying because that 14 was that little tiny circle right there in yellow and is a color screen so you actually can see that and then we could move this to make it very clear and then we have uh, the brightness control right here and you could have it turned off just to be studio lighting or bring it up and it has automatic uh, control on there to adjust that brightness to turn that knob and then the rest is done digitally really nice so anytime you want to increase you can just hit this button right here and it increases the image or you can drop the image back or forth with those buttons right there so let's go to photo mode let's hit this button right here and it took a picture let's go to another area right here let's take a picture let's go to a different area right here there's some words right there let's take a picture now if you want to take video so here we go back let's look at that image and let's say we want to take video hold down this button right here and now it's taking video and there's a little timer that went off right there and let's just verify that this is video we're going to move this along and let's hit the button again now it should it stop that video now let's go to the menu again and let's scroll down to video and now it's playing that video I just took and after you play that video you can delete that video right there you can name it and it has the size of that video which is nice to know so here I've got the video ready to play again and it's playing and anytime you want to get back to the home button to see the live screen you hit the home button for a couple of seconds and then it goes back to the live view and so that home button allows you to get back to the live view regardless of what you're doing playing a video or looking at a picture you hit the home button for a couple of seconds I'm going to show you how to charge the unit you take the included USB A to micro USB cable and you plug one end into a USB port right here's a USB port right there and I'm going to take the other end of this and on the side of the unit there is a micro USB port right there and you just plug it in just like that now there is a status there is a status LED right there you see the red when that red LED goes off the unit is fully charged very simple I want to point out that you know you charge the battery like I showed and this unit has internally a 2600 milliamp hour battery and you can run this for up to four hours continuously which is really nice now here's my wife's comb and I'm going to take some hairs and see what I can uh, zoom in on that and see what that looks like so to help see my wife's really thin hair I can't even see it looking at it I have a just a post-it note on there and I have the hair laying on there so I can see more of a contrast there but there is the hair and I could increase right here to get even more resolution on there so another interesting application is you're doing uh, circuitry and you have a circuit board and you have a issue with the solder connections on there you can actually use this to really blow up the solder connections on there and uh, you can see right there it's missing some solder and uh, you can't see that with your eye but this allows you to really hone in on those connections on any PC board to see the quality of the solder connection on there so here I have a mint leaf that I got from my garden and just look at the detail on there of that leaf it's unbelievable you can just you can see things that I've never even seen before just the fibers and those little white dots on there and of course you could increase it even further right here look at that here is a sunflower seed I mean look at that you can see the the green and the detail of the sunflower seed and when you look at this with the naked eye I mean, you would never even see that here is a peanut just your 
basic half of a peanut on there and you can see the inner part of where it was growing just look at that look at the detail there's the end of the peanut on there there's just so much amplification of the image and like even zoom in even further here is a single grain of rice that I have on there again you can see the center over the rice itself where it got those nutrients here is a single popcorn kernel that I have on there look at that detail I mean you could see the layers of when it was growing and where it got its nutrients going through and anytime you want to adjust the brightness you do have that control right there and again you could dim it down or increase the brightness and that really affects the amount of detail you get the brightness I mean just look at that detail so after testing the Zeltron brand or digital microscope what do I think about this it's really fascinating it's something that your kids can really learn a lot about nature and you can use it in your electronics lab you can use it to just see things that are really hard to see with your naked eye and as you can see I have that mint leaf still on there it's really neat looking to see that so this works well take your time the menu takes a little time to get used to but once you figure out the menu it took me about all oh, three minutes then it was very easy to use I like the portability of it. I like the fact that it's not plugged in. It's all totally portable, rechargeable, and it comes apart for, for, for have a child walk around with this thing in the garden. Really, really nice. I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. Hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.